In this video, I'm going to be doing a deep dive into the 180 mech and explaining why you should be building it. First, there are all sorts of CADs available for this robot online, meaning that you no longer have to carefully pause and whole count YouTube videos. Instead, you can get a 3D model of the robot and make changes to the robot from there, not only teaching you CAD and making your own robot design, but also allowing you an easier way to create the 180 mech. This allows for an easier building process of the 180 mech also. Secondly, the robot can do everything the game asks you to do and more. It can double stack, which is the best method of scoring by the way, stack on beams, score on standoff, score on all forms of goals while being super fast, basically being an air, fire, water, and earth robot. Nothing is left out by this robot. Third, and I cannot stress this enough, this is an early season robot. This robot has not yet achieved its maximum potential. Capped Pins has made a 180 mech only relying on four motors through motor sharing. This means that you can use two other motors to do different tasks on the robot, such as increasing the robot's speed or strengthening the robot's lifts. Fourth, the robot is compact and simple by nature. Not only does this mean that building it will be easier, but it's also naturally stronger and pieces falling off will be rarer and not as big of a deal. Though, if pieces are falling off your robot, you might want to talk to your builder about that. Now, the biggest con of this robot is its difficulty to drive. The robot requires handling a fast robot with two claws and a four bar lift. That's a lot for drivers to handle. Luckily, we have some st cool stuff called sensors. And if you have a programmer that's willing to use sensors, you can make your 180 mech just as easy to drive as the revolver bot. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and comment.